Yesterday we were just finished during two's complement subtraction, right? All of you know about two's complement subtraction. You are done on problem also in two's complement subtraction, okay? Now how do you implement it? Using four bit binary parallel adder. See what parallel adder does? It will just add four bit number. Yes or no? Yesterday we have discussed about it. Right, any 4 bit number it will add, it will just add. It has got internally 4 full adders, all together we just call it as a 4 bit parallel adder. Right, so when you draw a diagram for 4 bit parallel adder, you need not draw that individual full adders and show it as a complete unit. You can just draw like this, right. See your 4 bit parallel adder will be having how many inputs? How, two 4 bit inputs, right? And one carry in. Now, how can we use the same 4 bit parallel adder as a subtractor? Solution is 2's complement subtraction. In 2's complement subtraction, we use addition only. So, this 4 bit parallel adder is of use for us now. Hope all of you are understanding this. Fine. Okay. So now, how to do that? You know, in 2's complement subtraction, in 2's complement subtraction, another subtrahend is going as a 2's complement, right? Have you understood this? Subtrahend is going as a 2's complement, right? So what you have to do? When you supply the subtrahend to the another input, you complement it and then add one to that. I have understood this. So, which is going to be two's complement. Hope all of you understood this, okay? And then it gives you the addition, and that addition is nothing but subtraction. Have you understood this, okay? Now, look at this. Look at this. See, if I take, if I take, so try to, I am just trying to explain you this. What is this? This is your 4 bit parallel adder. All of you will concentrate here. 4 bit parallel adder. It has got two 4 bit and one carry in. Yes or no? This is your carry in. Okay? And this is your bit A3, bit A2, bit A1, bit A0. Bit B3, bit B2, B1 and B0. So this is called 4 bit parallel adder. It has got 1, 2, 3, 4, some bit 3, some bit 2, some bit 1 and some bit 0. And 1, what is this? Tell me. 1 carry out. 1 carry out. Right, this is your 4 bit parallel adder. I have explained you this. I have explained even the internal diagram also for you. Right, okay. Now, this is your 1 4 bit number and their 4 bit number. Now, see, when you do 2's complement subtraction, okay, I, I gave an example last time 4 minus 3, right? This is 4 is supposed to be A and this is supposed to be B. Now 4, its binary equivalent will go as it is directly, right? We are not going to take any two's complement of that to do the subtraction. This will go as it is. This will go as it is. But B, you have to represent it as a two's complement. Right? So two's complement meant what do you do first? First you take one's complement, right? So, one's complement means you just invert it, yes or no? So, what you do with the B first? 
just invert it means what you should connect here you should connect a not operator here now how do you add one to that just you make cn as one you connect this to five volts plus five volts when you make cn as one what it will do it will add one to this right so what it will do it will just what what type of addition it will do say zero one zero zero right then what happens to the b what happens to the b complemented right so this is supposed to be 0, 0, 1, 1. complement means 1, 1, 0, 0, right 1, 1, 0, 0. then one carry this carry it will do this addition so this is what is this actually tell me this is actually two's complement two's complement so this four bit parallel adder can also be used as a subtractor now just by this arrangement so this is your four bit parallel adder used as a as a whole what is this as a whole this is four bit binary subtractor but what type of subtraction we do here two's complement subtraction so what you get here is subtracted output carry if you get if the carry you get it is a positive number I understood this if you get this carry here it's a positive number the answer is the direct answer positive answer if there is no carry means answer is in the two's complement form I understood this okay that's what we have to remember that's all right so this is your four bit subtractor using 4 bit parallel adder only. Ah, yeah. I have done this last class. See, this is very bad. See, if C out, if you get C out, if you carry out is 1, that means if you get a carry, that means number is positive, you should, you should discard the carry. That's what 2's complement subtraction is. See, to understand this, your 2's complement subtraction should be paka. Somebody doesn't know two's complement, you cannot understand this. Right? Two's complement subtraction, I want everyone to know. This is compulsory. Okay? So, when you do two's complement subtraction, if you get a carry while doing addition, okay, two's complement addition, that means answer is positive. Discard the carry. Right? If you don't get a carry at all, okay, that means answer is negative that's the indication whether your answer is positive or negative see 4 minus 3 is answer is positive right what about 3 minus 4 answer is negative you can do this two's complement subtraction yesterday i did it right just remember this don't forget these things are very much important right see you using two's complement you do 4 minus 3 same using two's complement you go you do 3 minus 4 can you do this you will come to know while doing this using two's complement you will get a carry that means answer is positive okay now when you do 3 minus 4 okay you do you will not get carry i have done this i am not going to do it again you practice right okay so here you will not get carry that means your answer is negative and answer is in what form two's complement form only so you take once again the two's complement the actual number you will get there have you all understood this this is something it's not difficult it's very easy if you're not understood better you get it clarified with this right don't keep any doubt with you this is something very easy right okay so have you understood this using four bit parallel adder as a subtractor and subtraction we do here using two's complement right okay so hope all of you understood with this explanation now see i want you to analyze this i want you to analyze this okay so you have four full adders here right see four full adders here listen carefully four full adders and you have here one input given directly listen carefully one input given directly okay and 
another input is given through an XOR gate. Another input is given through an XOR gate. See, another input is given through an XOR gate. See, this B is given through an XOR gate. Right. And also you see that your another input of the XOR gate is given to a control input M. Another input is another input of the XOR gate where the another input B is given to the full adder is controlled by another bit M. Now, it is possible that this arrangement can be used okay either as a 4 bit adder or as a 4 bit subtractor right by using this m bit now tell me when this behaves as a 4 bit parallel adder and when this will behave as a 4 bit subtractor you analyze this then that M bit controls everything. Ah, uh, then? Uh, can you analyze yourself? Suppose if M is equal to 0, tell me. Suppose this M is equal to 0. Your carry in is equal to 0, right? Okay, what about your bit A and B? See, when this is 0 here, okay? Suppose if this is 0 here, what will come? B3 only. Suppose if it is 1 here, B3 only will come, right? That means B3 will be direct coming here. Have you understood this? Right? Have you understood or not? Tell me. Come on. This arrangement, I am making your bit M is equal to 0 now. When bit M is equal to 0, anyway, your one of the input A goes directly to full adder, doesn't matter. See the other input. Other input is going through an XOR gate here. Suppose M is equal to 0, whatever I give here, suppose if I give here 1, 1, 0, 0, right? Can you tell me what will come to this particular point? Same thing you will come here, right? See, you will get 1 here. You will get 1 here, you will get 0 here, 0 here. What that means? That means you are getting B itself, right? So this is going to be an adder now. Your B is not coming as a complement of B. Have you understood now? See, try to open your mind and think. I am giving M is equal to 0 in this setup. Carry in is going as a 0 and M is coming as 0 and that M is coming connected to every second input of the XOR gate. Another input of the XOR gate is connected to the another input, input B. Right? Now, suppose if you make M is equal to 0, that means whatever input you give at B3, B2, B1, B0 will be directly available as it is to the all four full adders. That means what? How? The, what, it, what, it is, what it is now? It is an adder, right? See, your B is coming as it is there. Your A is coming as it is there. That is an adder. That means when M is equal to 0, this entire setup is behaving like a, like a 4-bit parallel adder. Now, suppose if M is equal to 1, what will happen? Tell me. Trace it. You trace it. Trace it yourself. Suppose if M is equal to 1, okay, so you are getting 1 here. That is required as usual to get this complement. Now, what about these bits? How it is coming here? See, this is 1, right? 1. 1, 1 to XOR gate, what will, what will get here? 0, right? Okay. Now, 1, 1 to XOR gate, what will get here? 0, right? Now, 1, 0 to XOR gate, what will get here? You get 1 here because 0 will come as 1 here. 1 and 0 to XOR gate, what will get here? 1. Can you tell me what is this actually? This is 1's complement of B, right? This is 1's complement of B. So, what are you getting here at this point is? Nothing but 
one's complement of B and then here you have carry as one. So, what is the function of this entire setup now? The function of this entire setup is a 4 bit subtractor, 4 bit subtractor by using two's complement subtraction. So, that is why this circuit is called as adder come subtractor. Who controls it to be an adder or to be a subtractor? That m bits, that m bits will tell you whether it is going to be a subtractor or have you understood this? Okay. If you understood this, this is this is enough for this. Right. Hmm. Which one? Louder. This portion? Of course. Why you worry about that? Try to understand, my dear. This portion definitely there for the mid sem. Hundred percent. There's no doubt about it. This is something is something not difficult. I have explained everything about full ladder and all. You attend classes. Are you attending classes regularly? Then why you are not able to understand? Hmm? This is very important. How to construct a four bit parallel ladder? Also, I have told you in my previous class. Right. So if you are not understood, you should update yourself. I can't tell individually. I can repeat everything <laughs> individually for a particular person. If you are interested, come and meet me after the class. Whenever free, you will never do it. I know, right? Okay, yeah. Have you understood this? This is, huh? Which one? This is the output actually. See, this is the carry out. Okay, output you are taking it through this carry and here. Okay, see this. This is V bit will tell you the XOR of C4 and C3. <coughs> this bit okay see now you just try to see this okay take to addition this bit will tell you okay about see suppose if you get a carry one here what will happen that's why i told you analyze this suppose if you get a carry one here right what will happen right see listen carefully see suppose one i will take four minus three 4 minus 3, okay. 4 minus 3 will be, what is the result of 4 minus 3? Right. So, one by one you have to trace this. It will also tell you exactly, the last bit whether to discard or not, that will be decided by this. Right. That is why we use this bit. See, we are taking the carry here, this carry and this carry here. I'm sorry. You need not worry about these things. Okay. Just see that. Understand the function of this with respect to your M bit. That's enough. Have you understood this? Okay. See, it is XORing the last two carries, last two carries, and it will give you one output, say V. Right? See, even if you don't draw this, you draw just only this, that is enough. Understood this? Okay. So, what you need to understand here is that how this, how does this work as both subtractor and adder. That's, that's, that's very important. If you understand that, that's enough. Understood this? Okay. So, now we will go forward. Okay. You analyze this, what is actually going to come at V? By take an example, okay. Take an example. What carry is coming here, and what carry is coming here? See what is the bit you are going to get here, right? So I told you that when you get a carry here, okay, carry is one. It is positive number. When, a, when you don't get a carry, it is a negative number. Somewhere it has to be indicated, right? That the number is positive or negative. That is done by this. Fine. B, C, D. Now, see, from where we started, tell me, single bit addition, right? We started from single bit addition. Listen carefully. Single bit full adder, you know. 
right? We started from half adder. Half adder is only for adding two bits. It doesn't take care of the carry in. So we went to full adder, right? Full adder is a something which is completely complete, where it will take carry in, also it will take bit A, bit B, it will give you sum and carry. But it's only for single bit. But your number is not single bit. Your number is of higher bits. So you need higher bit. So what you do? You arrange it in a parallel and then you get a 4 bit parallel adder. Right? You put 4 full adders and there is a carry propagate. You know carry propagate. Right? Accordingly, the carry from the previous full adder will propagate to the next. You all know about it. So you have constructed 4 bit parallel adder. Right? Constructing a 4 bit parallel adder from a full adder, you are supposed to know it. Okay? Now, how can you use that as a subtractor? Right? How can you use that as a subtractor? So what you do? You use simply two's complement method of subtraction. What is two's complement method of subtraction? Subtraction? It is just addition only. So one of the upper end, B, you complement it. And then you carry in U1, it will become two's complement. Right? So when the addition is happening in that subtractor, which is making use of 4-bit parallel adder, so it is actually doing addition only, but performs subtraction. But it is two's complement subtraction. Right? So if you get a carry, your your value is positive. Okay. If you get if you don't get a carry, the the value, the sum you get is a negative. Have you understood this? That's what we have discussed it now. Right? And this is what used as a subtractor everywhere. So if at all any subtraction operation is done, if any subtractor available in your microprocessor, in your processing element, this is what is used. Adder only is used as a subtractor. Do we require something separate subtractor to be designed? Not required, right? This suffices. This is also going to give a subtraction only. Then why do we go for a separate subtractor hardware? Not required. There is no separate logic diagram, logic setup for subtractor is not required. When you have an adder which can be used for subtraction using two's complement method, right? So for everything, uh, I want everybody to know how to do two's complement subtraction. Somebody doesn't know, please go and update yourself. It has been taught. It's something very easy. We, if at all you don't know, that means you have not put your effort to do, learn it. Right? Okay? Just. Now, let us go to BCD. I think I have already taken you this, taken this topic sometimes earlier, right? What is BCD? Binary coded. Right? Binary coded decimal. decimal number. Where are you going? I'm sorry. I'm not going to send anybody to washroom. Anybody in my class, nobody will go. For one hour, you just sit. Right? Anything? I don't want my class to be disturbed. Anybody want go out washroom and all? I'm not going to permit. Right? Now onwards, this is the last. I'm sending anybody, anyone. Simply you say washroom and you just take some calls, phone calls. I can I can watch her now into CCTV there. Definitely she'll be talking to some phones. I can do that, but I don't want to do. Right? So nobody will be going to washroom and don't come late to the class. Fine. Okay? Fine. BCD. What is BCD number? You all know about BCD number, right? Right? What is BCD number? Tell me. Suppose if I want to represent a number 32, how can I represent it in the BCD? So BCD is you just put the binary coded is binary coded is binary coded that means there is a binary symbol for this and there is a binary symbol for this right so 0 0 1 1 and 0 0 1 0 so this is actually the bcd representation what is the binary representation of this what is the binary rep representation of this 32 Exactly, correct, correct. It is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. 
this is called as binary this is called as binary right so you have option something called as binary addition also one more zero okay no problem this is 2 to the power of 32 is 2 to the power of 5 right 0 1 2 3 4 5 yes exactly 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 so this is your binary this is your bcd right so you can see the difference right bcd is binary coded decimal say so every this is in in decimal this is taken as a symbol binary symbol. this is this is a decimal symbol there is a corresponding binary code for this what is the binary code for 3 0, 0, 1, 1. what is the binary code for 2 0, 0, 1, 0. so if you put it together it is called as bcd right so now what is this bcd adder see your number in your in your <coughs> microprocessors or in your microcontrollers your number can be either represented in bcd or binary right yes or no right see so this 32 when it is represented here in in bcd it is 00110010 when it is represented in binary it is 100000 you can do addition here also you can do addition here also have understood this right so addition here possible addition here also possible right addition here you know already right addition of two binary number you all know about anybody doesn't know right anybody doesn't know addition of two binary numbers right just i will give you just one 10 seconds can you add a binary representation one one zero one 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 zero one 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 can you add this first i will i will see how many of you will add it is the binary is the binary any everybody everybody anybody doesn't know tell me right see it's very easy one one zero with carry one right then one 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 full adder this is some one carry one one second one one zero it is zero carry one second carry here zero one second one with a carry one coming outside this is the carry out so what is the answer now one one zero zero one zero so what is this once again is a binary the answer which you got one one zero zero one zero is the binary addition of one one zero one one and one zero one 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 hope everybody is pakka with this anybody it's very simple right but when it comes to bcd how do you add it how do you add it okay so all of you know about the bcd number okay now see here in bcd you are in in decimal you have a digit which is definitely from 0 to 9 right right and each and every symbols we call it a symbol of that by, uh, decimal has been coded so what is the code the code for 0 is 0000, 0, 0, 0. code for 1 is 0001 0, 0, 0, similarly code for 1001 0, 0, 1. code for 9 is 1001 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Do we require code for 10? If I want to represent 10 <coughs> in BCD, do I need a code? I don't need, right? 10 means it is 0, 0, 0, 0001 and 0, 0, 0, 0. <coughs> It has two symbols, two decimal symbols in that. I've understood about BCD representation, binary coded decimal representation. Right? Fine. <coughs> If you know binary coded decimal representation, let us do addition of binary. <coughs> okay, addition of binary. See, I will just directly go to the uh, problem. Okay. See, <coughs> now listen carefully. Let us add two BCD numbers. Listen carefully. Just concentrate here. This is something even even a primary school student can understand. But you are much, much, much above that. Okay. Suppose if I want to add two numbers, 
2 and 3. Suppose if I add two numbers, 2 and 3, using BCD. Right, using BCD. Now see here, 2 is actually a single digit, right? 3 is a single digit. So we can directly put its corresponding code. So in BCD, a number just 2 is represented by 0010 and binary 3 is represented by 0011. If you add 2 and 3, see when you take a number alone between 0 to 9, is there a difference between its binary and BCD? Absolutely no difference, right? Because it's both are same, right? Now you add this, you add this, you add 2 and 3, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 with carry 1, then that will come here 1, 0, 0, 0. You get 0, 1, 0, 1, okay? Final carry is 0. Now check this number. Check this number. Check whether it is a valid BCD number. What is a valid BCD number? Valid BCD number is 0 to 9, right? When you get this result, check whether this is BCD or not. See, now check. This is 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 dash dash 1, 0, 0, 1. Check this result is within this. Right? If this number is not within this, then you need to do something. That I will tell you then in my next slide. Right? So, since this number is within this number, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, which is actually sum. You know, 2 plus 3 is 5, you know. And this is actually a valid BCD number. Keep it as it is. I've understood this. Right? This, this you understood. This number is very, very, very easy number, 2 and 3. If you add, you get another BCD, which is also a single digit. It's quite known, right? Right, okay. Now, I'll take the next example. Listen carefully. In my next example, okay, 5 plus 7. I'll take 5 plus 7. In the next example, listen carefully here. In the next example, I'm taking 5 plus 7. If, if you add 5 plus 7, what you will get, tell me? You will not get a single digit, right? You're going to get two digit, right? So you are once again doing BCD addition here. Your number should be in BCD. After adding 5 and 7, you should get actually a BCD only. You should get BCD only. You, the result should be in binary coded decimal only. Now let us add this. What is the BCD representation of 5? 0, 1, 0, 1, right? What is the BCD representation of 7? Come on, tell me. 0, 1, 1, 1. No, add this. 1, 1, 0. With the carry, that 1, 1, 0. Then 1 carry, 1, 1, 1, sum 1, carry 1. Okay? And then that carry will go for, for, forward here. 1 plus 0, 1. This is what you get, right? Is it a valid BCD? Is it a valid BCD? Why it is not valid BCD? It is more than 9. It is not a valid BCD. It is not a valid BCD. Remember why it is not a valid BCD? Because it is not within 0 and 9. In such case, what to do? In such case, what to do? You just add 6. You just add 6 plus 6. Okay, 0, 1, 1, 0 to whatever result you got, okay, to whatever result you got, you will get the BCD, required BCD. Listen here, see, you just add 6, this is binary equivalent of 6, 6, now add this, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 0 with carry, 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1, now 1 plus 1 with 0 with carry 1, that carry will come here. Now, check this, check this. Is it not the result is in BCD? Is it not result is in BCD? Check this, check the answer. What is what is supposed to be the answer for us? Supposed to be 12, right? What is 12 in BCD? 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 
zero one zero, right? This is supposed to you are supposed to get this. You got it. Come on, see here. You can append zero 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 here. No problem. You got zero 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 one zero zero one zero. This was this is one and this is two. Is it not? You got the BCD result. You got the BCD result here. Have you understood this? Okay. You got the BCD result. This is called as bi binary addition. It's called binary addition. I've understood this. The result you should get it in the form of BCD only, not in the binary. Now, what is the case you come across? You see that when you add these two, when you add these two, okay. When you add these two number, okay. Now check the result here. If this result is more than nine, it's a not. It's not a valid BCD. You add six to that plus six to that. You add plus six to that. When you add plus six to that, okay. See what are you going to get? You get one zero 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 one zero. See, make a group of four four bits. Make a group of four four bits. So you get zero 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 one. This is supposed to be one zero zero one zero. This is two. What you're going to get is twelve, which is a, which is a. BCD, which is the BCD representation of. Now I will give you one more problem to you. You do, you do this eight plus eight. Yes, but if it is a valid BCD, don't add six. Have you understood, right? Huh? Adding. See what is eight plus six, sir? Or nine plus six, sir? 15 right right so 15 is actually the hexadecimal digit for that that's why you are adding 6 it's actually a hexadecimal representation see you are actually uh, losing that 6 right see when you when you just represent your bcd okay it is closely related to the hexadecimal that's why the 6 even when you add okay it will just come back from the you know the invalid bcd value Right? Invalid BCD value. That's why you are adding 6 to that. You understood now. Okay? 6 is a compulsory number to be added to do the BCD adjustment. Have you understood? Okay? There is a, a bit of number theory behind that where the one, the theory is related to the hexadecimal value. 9 plus 6 is 15, right? 0 to 15. So, 0 to 15 is the actual value which represents <coughs> one digit. One digit. That's why we are adjusting it to the six value. Understood. See, you have zero 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 to one 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 one, right? You have zero when you take a four bit uh, code. Uh, okay, you have zero 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 to one 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 one. So how many combinations you have? Total fifteen. Zero. If you take number zero to fifteen, right? Of course, sixteen combination, right? Okay, but it is number zero to fifteen. So that's why. The 6 is added to that and get adjusted to the 0 to 9 only. It's like a mod modulus addition. Modulus addition keeps that number within, you know, within 0 to 9. That's why we add it plus 6 to that. I have understood this. Okay, but remember this. 6 need to be added. Now, can you do this problem? All of you do this. Do the BCD addition of this. Huh? Huh? What happened? No, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't, you do this first. It is not something difficult. Right? You do this. You have done it. Don't worry. You can check the answer. What is 8? What is the binary equivalent of 8? 1, 0, 0, 0. What is the binary equivalent of 8? 1, 0, 0, 0. Now add this. 0, 0, 0, 0. You get 1. And you get, then you get? One right? Ah, sorry, sorry. Zero one. See zero 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 zero. Sorry, I did I put one more extra here? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Zero 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 one okay now what is the value is supposed to be 16 right okay now this is 0 0 0 1 right 
zero 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 one one zero okay see here now this is actually not coming in the valid right so what you should do in that case in this case what you should do wait 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 this is not the answer this is not the answer see in such cases see we said see valid bcd number with carry one okay so wait wait i will tell you how it is exactly it is not coming don't worry don't worry i will tell you One carry is there anyway, right? Wait, 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 there is a confusion here because zero, 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 it says is a valid one, okay? One, zero, because what you're getting is the extra decimal value. Exactly. Yes, 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 yes. You are right. Listen carefully here. Yes, yes, yes. See the sum. See here. See the carry. I'll go back to my this thing. Now tell me, what is this number? See, whatever carry you get, that carry also you should consider. Right? Listen carefully. He is correct. See here. You get 1000. But what is this 1000? Is it a valid BCD? No. See, you have to consider the consider entire result. Now, what you do in this case? Add 0, 1, 1, 0. Have you understood now? Now, when you add 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, which is plus 6, then 0, 1, 1, 0, then you get 1. You just append 0, 0, 1 to this. It has become now, this is, this is 1, this is 6. Fine. Thank you. Correct. You see the entire result. When you add 8 plus 8, you check whether whatever you got is greater than 9. But in this case, it is greater than 9, right? So then definitely what you should do in such case? You will have to add. Right. See, what you do is simple binary addition. After doing binary addition, see, this is binary addition only, right? When you do binary addition, see, check your... Your, your value is greater than the 9. Have you understood this? If it is greater than 9, it is compulsory that you add 6 to that, 6 to that. Any doubt in this? Okay. Can you do one more question in this? We will do one more question in this. It will be, it will make you a little, this is fine. Let us check, is there any, see the rules here, see. If the sum of the two numbers is equal to or less than 9 with a carry 1 and sum is invalid BCD, right? In this case, it is invalid BCD. See, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? Now, in that case, what you do? You add 0, 1, 1, 0, right? Then what you do that 1 and 6. This is called as BCD correction. Is it okay now? Fine. Okay. It's already there here. Okay. Fine. Now these are BCD numbers. Anyway, you see here 0. Okay. BCD adder. This is how, how to do the BCD number addition. See 0, 1, 2, 3. These are the things. Okay. You understood what is this? See binary sum is a BCD sum. Okay. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, plus 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. You can just see this. Okay, this is just an example. Okay. Binary and BCD. Hope you understood. Binary and BCD. See, this is binary. This is binary. Okay. This is BCD. I already told you about this. There is nothing in this slide. 
see this is 0 to 0 to 19 okay 0 to 19 and this is actually your binary and what is this what is this tell me this is your bcd that's all right this continues to all other numbers have understood this okay now let us do the bcd addition how to do bcd addition now how can i have a hardware for bcd addition now okay now what is what you do in bcd addition you just check the number is greater than 9 right right if the number is greater than 9 what you do for that you add 6 to that i have understood this now what is the first task you perform when you do binary addition a uh, bcd addition first do binary addition only yes or no right in this case where you have this plus 8 and plus 8 okay and then see even plus 5 and 7 in both the example first what you do is a simple binary addition simple binary addition then check your answer then check your answer if that answer is greater than 9 not within the bcd code okay then add 6 to that that's what we do while doing binary coded decimal addition bcd addition fine okay how can i draw a, how, how can I, I develop a, a logic circuit for that right so after all can i use my 4 bit parallel adder in such case right i can use my 4 bit parallel adder suppose if i am i am adding a, a bcd using only 4 bits see it all depends on how many bits you use right in 4 bit adder can i can i add uh, 8 bit i can't do right in 4 bit parallel adder i can add only 4 bit right i can add only i can add till 9 plus 9 i cannot go more than that right suppose if i have to go for 8 bit adder 8 bit bcd adder so what is the number of bits required to add two digit decimal number using bcd i need 8 bit right see to represent two decimal digit right 00 to 99 right you need how many bcd binary digit 8 right definitely you need 8 bit parallel adder hope you are trying to understand what i am telling you right suppose if you are going for 4 bit parallel adder okay so what is the range of decimal digit bcd coded decimal digit i can add 0 to 8 only 9 0 to 9 9 only have you understood this right that's why what we'll do we'll consider only 4 bit parallel adder and we'll see how to do the bcd addition using that right so first you need an adder 4 bit parallel adder which will actually gener do simple binary addition right understand here see here when you add 5 and 7 using bcd addition what you did first tell me you did you did simple simple binary adder right yes or no it is simple binary adder right so don't you think that you you just need a 4 bit parallel adder for that right yes or no you just need 4 bit parallel adder that's all okay after that you check the output after that you check the output if it is more than 6 you need to if it is more than 9 you need to add 6 to that you need one more parallel adder so using two parallel adder you can make a bcd adder that's all that's what this connection shows i'll just take it in the next class see that's what this connection shows just see this adder simply adds okay i'll just go for your attendance i'll just continue this in the next class
Oke. Today is twenty seven. I will extend this time, okay. Okay, all of you just scan this first. Oh, uncha. <laughs> scan this. I have extended the time. Okay. Is not bell ringing inside? Okay, so I have taken over time for you. Okay. Uh, Muhammad Harun, Muhammad Harun present, Sagar, after a long time, Adit, yes, sir. you also coming, Nandana, absent, Ram Mohan, Savio, okay. okay, all of you just computer science students take this fast, 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 okay, so I will continue with this in my last next class. Thank you.